And who presents this lady in marriage? Mary Neal. Right. You say I do, I think, or something, maybe, Doug? <laughs> yes, I do. I will. I will, and so does the king and I'm going to roll. She's all here. You have a seat, sir? Take your seat. Oh, have a seat. Now, the two of you step between the benches. No, no, back up. Between those two benches. There you go. Take his arm. Marriage is a joyous occasion. It's connected in our hearts with the magic charm of home and with all that's pleasant and attractive and the tender and most sacred relations in life. Now, if you, Caesar, and you, Tara, have at present appeared for the purpose of being joined in marriage, would you signify this occasion by turning and facing each other and holding hands? You, Caesar, take this lady, Tara, that you now hold by the hand to be your wedded wife you promise to love and to cherish her in sickness and in health, in prosperity and in adversity? I do. Tara, do you in like manner agree to receive Caesar as your wedded husband, to love and to respect him, live with him in all faith and tenderness, in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity? I do. Would you give Caesar the bride's ring, please? Caesar, place the ring on Tara's finger and then repeat after me. Tara, I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a promise. As a promise of the love we share. Of the love we share together this day. Together this day. Okay. Would you give Tara the other ring, please? Tara, place the ring on his left on his finger and repeat after me. Caesar, I give you this ring. Caesar, I give you this ring as a promise. As a promise of the love we share. Of, of the love we share together this day. Together this day. Join both hands together now. <laughs> Join both hands. Let's bow our heads. I'd like to do a blessing. God, I thank you for Caesar and Tara and the love of their hearts for each other. I ask a blessing on their marriage. May nothing ever separate them, divide them, or come between them. May all they set their hands to do prosper. Amen. Not on you. Set it together in this marriage ceremony. It's been witnessed today before God and family and friends. You've given and pledged your vows to each other, and you've declared the same by joining your hands and hearts. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Caesar, you may kiss your wife. Kiss. Now, I love the golden. Thank you.